Hi guys, in today's video is uh, my 500 subscriber uh, special. I believe I just passed uh, 500. Um, so yeah, thanks to everybody who um, likes my videos and, and comments and you know sh shares and you know does whatever you know whatever you do. Uh, it means a lot to me. Uh, thanks a lot. I never thought I'd get to 500. I um, didn't think my channel you know had much for that. Um, so yeah, thanks to everyone. Uh, so today's video is going to be a um, fleet video. Um, I'm not boasting what I've got, I'm just showing you what I've got. Um, and if any of you want any running, uh, any of them in a running session, or you want a review of any of them, uh, I'm glad, glad to do that. So yeah, so thanks to everybody who, who subscribes and watches and comments. Uh, thanks a lot, it means, means a lot to me, thanks. Thank you. Uh, so let's go on with the video, shall we? So yeah, let's start with the LMS and let's start with this end. Um, this National Coal Board and Smoky Joe is a Caledonian Railway um, 264 class. And then we have the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway Pug, I think it's a class 21. And then we come on to some coronation slash duchesses. We have City of uh, St. Albs, I think that's how you say it. And then we have um, Coronation. Um, that one's a tender loco, uh, these are all locos. Uh, next is Princess Alexander. And after her we have King George VI, I believe that is. Um, and I believe one of these has a sloped smoke box, and I think it's that one there, it is, it's that one there. And after that we have um, City of Edinburgh. And it's wartime black and quite nice. And then we have a Fairburn tank. Fairburn tank. Uh, after that, it is the 4F by Backman. And um, this one's slightly better than the Hornby one, in my opinion. And then after that, it's the 4, um, the Ivory Class 4. Uh, lovely little thing this is. It looks ugly, but I, I like it. And then we have the Railroad um, Midland Compound. Uh, 1000 uh, there, not as good as the Batman one, but it's just a job. And then after that, we have let's out the way, get some light on the loco. We have I can't pronounce this loco, but I'll give it a go. Uh, illustration, illustration, something like that. Um, it's a Patriot class, I believe. And then we have the um, Batman. Uh, Jubilee class, and this is um, Australia. Just there. So next up is this um, Hornby Weathered 8F. Um, it's a nice loco. I like weathered locos. Then after that we have a class uh, two. I believe it's a class two. I have a class two there. Yep, that's correct. And then we have a crab, um, Midland crab. I believe they are. I like these. They are nice. Um, the next up we have the railroad version of uh, the um, Class 5 or Black 5, depending on how you pronounce it. Uh, it's not too bad for a railroad loco, I must say. Uh, and after that we have the Lancashire and Yorkshire Class 5 here. Um, quite nice, it's maroon livery. Then uh, we have a... Somerset and Dorset um, 7F, uh, custom weathered, uh, very nice. And the final loco is the Backman um, Super D. Um, so, yeah. So, next up is the BR or War locos. Here we have two. Uh, long more military railway locos. Uh, we have this uh, WD um, 060 ST, I believe. Um, I'm not too sure if this is the, the LNR version, um, but yeah. Then we have um, this uh, 280. Um, I think it's Major McMullen or something like that. Uh, this one hasn't hasn't got a name with it, but it is a version with a name. 
And then next we have a, back, uh, weathered, a weathered version, uh, just a standard BR one. And after that we have a weathered um, Evening Star. This is a railroad version and um, I got weathered because it looks better to me weathered. Uh, this is, like I said, a railroad. Uh, next up is a Backman, I think it's a standard five. Um, and this one is preserved. Uh, I think it's City of St. Peter's or something like that. Oh, Peterborough, sorry. Uh, so yeah. Uh, then we have the uh, Duke of Gloucester, which is a railroad version. And then finally, for the BR and war stuff, we have a Frank Franco Crosti railroad version, uh, Weatherford. Um, very nice, very nice indeed. So yeah, first up is um, the E2. Uh, this is a really old one by Hornby. Um, and as you may know, Thomas is based on it. And then we have the new uh, version of the Spam Cam um, Battle of Britain or West Country class. Um, and this is Royal Mail. There, and this is the first version that the Southern Railway did. Uh, so I believe. And then next up we have uh, Sir Winston, uh, Winston Churchill. Um, this used to be Tangemere, but I got it renamed. Then next, I think this is the N, it's the N15, I believe, or is it S50? I think it's the N15. This is Sagemore. Um, this came weathered, as it was. And, and it's a stunning loco. Uh, another dirty weathered loco. Um, Cloverly. Um, quite a nice uh, loco. Again, I think it's a West, this is a West Country. It's named after a town or place. And then um, Merchant Navy class is a Blue Star. Um, just there, Blue Star. Uh, this is uh, from 2000. And again, Hornby. And then um, this one's a different one, but it is a, a West Country class. Um, Mind the front coupling, it's got a problem. Uh, this is a brute build, and this one has the standard uh, Stanley attender with it to do with the uh, trials that happened. And then we have these two little beauties here, which are, are the same loco but in different, uh, in different points in time. So I believe uh, that one's Sutton, that one's a uh, white chapel. So here we have the Backman E4, and this is a, a very nice uh, model, and this is in its pre-grouping livery of London Brighton Circus Railway. Uh, next we have a railroad uh, schools class, or V class, I believe. Uh, this is Cheltenham, which I believe is um, preserved. Uh, could be wrong, I think it's preserved at the NRM. And next up we have the Backman C class. Um, Backman do a very nice uh, C class, it must be said. Um, then after that it's the Adam Radius tank by Oxford Railway. Uh, nice loco, runs a bit iffy, if I'm honest with you. And then next up we have the brand new H class uh, by Hornby. Um, Delivery is stunning, um, the loco is stunning now, it decides to work. Uh, uh, next up is the uh, Model Rail, Model Rail um, Limited Edition uh, USA Dot Tank or S100, I believe they are. And this one's the Worth Value uh, 172. Um, nice, very, very nice. Uh, and then next up we have the uh, NRM uh, N7, and this is the, how it is currently at the museum. Um, very nice indeed. And then finally for the Southern Railway, we have the T9, and this is the NRM version as well, uh, in its Southern Green, and that tender is very nice. I do like that tender. So yeah, here we have the uh, Airfix um, Castle. Uh, this is, uh, so you can read that, uh, Banbury Castle, which is Oxfordshire. Um, 
The next we have two pannier tanks, but different liveries, both by Backman. We have the uh, wonderful and lovely Great Western, um, the Railway Children one. And then further behind that, we have the London um, Transport one, I think it's L97. Show you better there. And then we have a Southern Loco, uh, disguised as a Great Western one. And this is number five, and it's a uh, Portish Head. Um, it's quite nice. Uh, this is Hornby again. Then next up, we have two of the same Loco uh, Hogwarts uh, Castle. Uh, basically, one's got a light and one hasn't. Uh, there you go, light, uh, no light, it's got a shift cone instead. And as I said, Hogwarts Castle, just there. Then next up, we have a Beast of a Loco uh, 72XX by Hornby. And uh, oh, yeah, I like that one a lot. Uh, and uh, the next two Locos are two rare Locos um, in a collection. I don't know, I've got no idea. Uh, we have the castle, uh, Manoeuvre Castle, I think it is. Uh, if you can read that, you'll know. Um, and then we have the uh, king, uh, King Henry the uh, seventh, I think that is, or the sixth, I think it's seven. Um, yeah, they didn't last long, but they're very nice uh, locomotives there. And then next up, we have a. I think this is. A Surum Castle, uh, so it's a Castle class, uh, Surum Castle uh, by Hornby. And then next up, we have a, a Electron, I think it is, uh, Taff Vale. Um, this is a well, it's a Spanish loco uh, dressed up to be a Great Western loco. Um, they're pretty nice, quite nice for the money, too. Uh, and then next up, after that, we have uh, another Great Western castle. Um, and this one is, uh, well, the great man himself from the Great Western, um, isn't Bard Kingdom Brunel. Um, it's a nice loco, must say. Uh, and then finally, um, for now, we have the uh, Great Western Star Class. And this is a British Monarch, just there. So yeah, here is some more Great Western locos. Uh, first off, we have a city class, and it's the city of uh, London. Uh, next up, we have a county class. Um, sorry, that's Backman. This is Hornby. Uh, county class of Cornwall. You can just see that there. Um, it's a railroad one. It's quite nice. Uh, then we have a re uh, then we have a king class. I believe it's King Stephen. Um, yep, it is. And next we have a, an old uh, Hornby uh, Loco. Um, I wish I'd remake this one. I don't think they're going to anytime soon. Uh, St. David. And then we have a Backman uh, Rod class or um, 3000. That's the Great Western. Um, we class classified them. I think they were a Robertson 04, I believe, or 01. I think it's 04. Um, and then next up we have... Uh, Cabby Castle, uh, again, a nice uh, a nice loco by Hornby. And then next up we have this uh, lovely uh, black loco, and I had many black Great Western locos, and this is a uh, uh, Grange class, it's a uh, Derwent. Um, yeah, Derwent. And then next up we have a Earl, an Earl class, or a Duke dog, I think they are. Uh, this is, hasn't got a name, and it's just weathered. Uh, Backman again, and uh, the final Great Western one is by Backman, and it is the uh, city of Birmingham. So, on to the Allen R. Um, we have a few pre grouping livery locos here. We have the um, J13 here in Great Northern Livery. This is the preserved one, but it's not the NRM version because I don't think they've done one. Uh, next up is the uh, Great Northern N2. Uh, I do like these locos. I have a, um, an, N, an N7 on the way, or an M7 on the way, uh, which I'm looking forward to. Uh, we have a J50 here, and it's BR Black again, Hornby. Um, 
Another Hornby one, a J15. Uh, uh, I do like these locos. Every time I see it, it reminds me of, um, I think it's Heidi High. Uh, so, yeah. Then next up, we have a D11 uh, from the Great Central Railway, I believe. This is in BR Black. And this one is um, <laughs> Prince Albert. Yeah, Prince Albert. Just that. And then uh, we have an old-fashioned uh, B12. Uh, this is the old, really, really old one. Uh, it is loco-driven, but it's old. Um, then after that, we have the uh, Q, uh, Raven Q6, I believe it is. Um, so much in love with um, these. I do like them a lot. Uh, next up, we have the... I think it's a Robinson uh, 04. Yeah, Robinson 04 from the Great Central Railway. Uh, this is weathered and is um, by Backman and uh, very nice in the BR colours. And then next up we have uh, a Thompson 01 by Hornby. Um, yeah, they look sort of exactly the same if you look down there. Look down there. Look exactly the same to, to a degree. I think they are basically the same loco. Just Thompson put his own stamp on it because that, that's the way it was. And then we have a Gradley V1 uh, by Backman V1. Uh, slash free, I believe this is. Um, it's a nice loco. And then next, we have this stunning uh, Thompson loco here. Uh, L1 by Thompson. Uh, I do like it a lot. So next up, we have some A1s and A2s. Um, first up is uh, Tude, Tude Minstrel, I think it is. Uh, there, by Batman. Um, then we have a Railroad uh, Tornado. Yep. Uh, then we have some A1s and A3s um, with some Great Northern Tenders and non-Great Northern Tenders. Uh, this one's from a set, uh, the Queen of Scots, I believe it is. And this one is Blink Bunny. And then there, after that we have the world famous uh, Flying Scotsman. Then in this uh, blue we have uh, Prince of Palantine, I think it is. And then uh, we have a uh, flying fox in Brunswick green. Uh, and then we have a uh, Great Northern with its uh, Great Northern tender, obviously. Uh, there's the locos there, I think just have a look. The next up we have uh, C1. Lovely C1 there by uh, Backman, very nice. And then we have this thing here uh, by Rapid Trains or Rapid. Locos, we're gonna call them, and this is the Sterling Single. Um, very nice, very nice indeed. And then we have something totally different to that is the P2 uh, by Hornby. This is a railroad, uh, Cock of the North. Then we have the world famous uh, Mallard again. Uh, then followed by another A4, we have, uh, I don't know if you can read that, Seagull. Seagull, and then we have. Uh, President of the United States, we have uh, Dwight D. Eisenhower. Uh, this is a Backman one. So, yeah. Uh, that one there is a tender driven one, that's a loco one. So, yeah, next up and last but not least is some uh, random locos or freelance locos bar, I think, two classes, uh, three classes. So, we have this freelance here by um, Triang, and it's Polly. Pretty nice indeed. For an old girl, she runs pretty fine. And next up, we have this Collector's Club by Hornby, which I believe is a freelance loco. I can't write any information to say what class it is, but I think it's a sort of freelance. Uh, I think it's based on the Thomas version of the A40, uh, could be wrong on that. Then next up we have a Great Western sort of loco. It's based on the Holden 101. Uh, this is a, a Coleman's one in the Coleman's livery. There's nothing wrong in these small locos whatsoever. Um, so we have a Coleman one and then we have a Peckett uh, W4 uh, here, which is Dodo. Yeah, sadly mine's missing the whistle, I need to find a replacement, it got snapped off. Uh, very nice loco indeed, Hornby should be proud of that one. Uh, next is another, hold next is next two are another Holden ones. Uh, we have the actual Holden here, in its Great Western livery, uh, number 104. 
Um, yeah, this should have really gone in the Great Western collection, but because I've got more than one in different deliveries, I thought I'd put it in here, just give it a bit more variety. And then we have a DeSanto Express one, uh, which is colourful, very nice. Sort of reminds me of a James from Thomas the Tank, yeah. They're very nice. Um, and then next up we have, I think these are LY. Uh, I think they're both, uh, I think they're based on an Alinear loco. So we have the British Railway one, which came with uh, my first train set all them years ago from, I think, 94. Um, so that one. And then we have the same loco uh, in a different livery. Uh, and this one it is in the LMS from the, uh, a more recent uh, my first train set uh, pack. Um, yeah. And then we have, uh, everyone likes a bit of Eddie, Eddie Stabart here. We've got an Eddie Stabart version. Uh, number two, um, Monica Pittman, I believe that says. Um, so, yeah.